Hi, this will be a brief video tutorial on addressing and doing a basic commission on one of our access points, uh, specifically the BAT867. I have gone ahead and I've factory defaulted the device, and I'm going to utilize a tool called High Discovery to find this device. Um, it's connected on the network via a, um, an Ethernet cable. And you'll see here that 10.10.10.99 is the IP address of my LAN card. I want to make sure that that's connected as opposed to the uh, the wireless card. So I'm not, obviously not going to be able to find it on my wireless card. So I want to make sure that the LAN card is the one that's connected or selected. And I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to give it an IP address, uh, preferably on the 222 subnet. So I'm going to click on next or on OK and it's going to go on in and I'm not quite sure what's up here. Let me do a quick rescan and see if the IP address took and yes it did. So we do have an IP address of 10.10.10.222 10, 10, and um, with this what I'm now going to do is just because the uh, the high discovery protocol finds it doesn't necessarily mean that you can ping it. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 222. Yes, I can ping it. Um, I also could have just done this through, select this, and ping the device. And I could have also done it this way. So I now know that I can communicate to the device. Uh, the next app that I'm going to utilize is going to be a, an application called LAN Config. And the LAN config uh, application uh, is specifically intended for our wireless products. And with this, you can also find the devices. So even if the device did not have an IP address, you will also be able to utilize this tool um, to find the, uh, the device. So in this case, what it's found is it's found two devices. Uh, this is the one that we're going to be configuring. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to right click on this and I'm now going to go to the configure. And it's going to ask me for the default password and the default password is private. This is in all lowercase. Um, best practices obviously dictate that you change this. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go ahead and set this up as an access point. And I am going to first go to wireless LAN under general. I want to make sure that this is not a managed access point. Um, if it's a managed access point, this means that you're utilizing a wireless LAN controller, but instead I just want this to be an access point. And um, I want the LED on the, uh, on the bat to blink, indicating how many connections there are. So I'm going to do a connection count for the radio. I uh, would like for this to utilize the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. And I can then also define what channel. So ideally, I'm going to pick a channel that um, doesn't have any interference. Uh, there are a variety of tools that can be utilized to uh, select the appropriate channel. In this case, I'm just going to select channel 11. And I can also dictate the antenna grouping whether I'm just utilizing antenna one or both antennas one and two. Uh, in this case, I'm only utilizing antenna one. And um, the other thing that we're going to look for is to just make sure that you know, all the other settings are in default, which they are. I'm going to click on OK. Next, I'm going to go to logical wireless LAN set, um, settings. And I'm now going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this my uh, wireless LAN and I'm using an underscore in this case and everything else in here can, um, can remain um, its default alarms everything else is default and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to WEP we want to make sure that this does um, that this is going to use encryption so we're going to not utilize this because it's a passphrase we will never remember. Um, I underscore 
love underscore my underscore wireless LAN. And we're going to click on OK. And here we're going to click on OK. And um, let me think, what else? So we've we've given it a a channel. We've given it a frequency. We've given it an SSID. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure is that it's going to also assign an IP address. So in this case, I want it to assign an IP address. Double click on this. DHCP server is going to be a yes. And its first address is going to be on a 10, 10, 10. Um, actually, let's put this on a different network. Um, well, yeah, we'll keep it on 10, 10, 10, 10. Um, we'll start off with a 55, and its last address is going to be a 10, 10, 10 dot 65 with a 24 bit subnet mask. And in this case, we don't need a gateway. This is a standalone network. And we're going to click on OK. Going to click on OK over here. And we're going to launch this. So we're going to click on OK. You can see that it's writing the configuration. It's checking. And what I'm now going to do is I am now going to go in and in my wireless LAN settings, I see a my underscore wireless LAN. I'm going to connect to it. Now, unfortunately, what you can't see here is I underscore love underscore my underscore wireless LAN, I believe is my password. I'm going to click on OK. It says connecting. So I am connected. And we're now going to just do a quick verification. And I am going to disconnect. So I've just disconnected the network cable. So I'm going to ping 10, 10, 10, 222. And I'm actively pinging the device. And you can see that my wireless is also connected. And from here, I can now go to Properties. And it has an IP address of 10.10.10.222. OK. So if I now go back into Configure, I am now managing this access point wirelessly. So the process again was very simple. First, go into your general wireless, set it as an access point, select your channel for logical wireless LAN settings, give it a name, this is your SSID. Next, under WEP or WPA, uh, you definitely don't want to use WEP um, for WPA, WPA2 specifically. Double click on this, give it a passphrase, and lastly for your DHCP, give it a start and a end. And you can also see here that if I were to do a IP config, it has the IP address, which is a 56. So the first address is 55. It's um, giving me 56. And um, I know that all that works. The default gateway, it's automatically assigned it as, um, as the default gateway. So all is good. And at that point, that is it. Um, once it writes this configuration, you can power cycle the device. It's going to keep the configuration. And that is all.
Thank you so much for watching.